The non evolution devoid scientific validity schools in many countries of the world. Darwin Official place in the curricula of school universities just about every country of the world today. Scientific facts are ignored and even distorted and misused in an effort to use them in favor of evolution, as this outdated theory is kept proper for ideological reasons. Learning Darwinist fairy tales is compulsory, while the teaching of the scientific facts are banned. The fact remains that the theory of evolution is unable to explain how the first living cell or even a single protein could have formed. Not one single transitional form fossil showing that life forms are descended from one another has ever been found from among the more than 350 million fossils discovered to date. If the myths of evolution are to be taught in schools, these facts revealed by science must also be taught. Children and young people need to be educated with the facts revealed by 21st century science, not pagan teachings left over from Sumerian times. Yet the Darwinist dictatorship never permits that. Evolution is taught in a compulsory manner as part of the curriculum in the school textbooks of just about all countries. Nonsense such as the myth of giraffes acquiring longer necks as they stretched up to reach higher leaves the hoax of the industrial melanism and peppered moths, the lie that human beings and monkeys are descended from a common ancestor, and the fiction of primitive man living in caves is still taught to young people in Europe as if it were a scientific fact. Moreover, young people in Turkic states and even Iran are also educated with these myths of evolution, not just those in European countries. Ernst Haeckel's fraudulent embryo drawings, the lie of the existence of fictitious half-reptile and half-bird creatures, and the fairy tale of the evolution of the horse are all taught as if they were scientific truth. Yet young people have no right to demand any supporting evidence in the face of this nonsense. They have no right to express the facts revealed by science. They have no right to give the answers shown by science in exams. No student saying that evolution doesn't exist in biology classes anywhere in the world has the possibility of passing that class. People with academic careers in fields such as biology, anthropology, or paleontology in any country of the world have no possibility of saying evolution doesn't exist and then being promoted. Although everyone in nearly all countries of the world are well aware that evolution is an outdated myth and an unscientific ideology, all students, teachers, academics, and politicians are forced to sign up to evolution. People who refuse have to repeat academic years again, are deprived of the right to an education, or lose their jobs, and campaigns against them appear in the press. In short, neither students nor teachers enjoy the right even to question the theory of evolution. Interestingly, despite this manifest situation, some people are still able to say, does Darwinism really exist at all? Yes, Darwinism has collapsed scientifically, but efforts are still being made to keep it propped up ideologically. Moreover, this is done through prohibitory, oppressive, and fascist policies. But we are now in the century when all this pressure will come to an end. The sun has now risen, and the true illumination of mankind has begun. Even though Darwinists are keeping the drapes tightly drawn and saying there is no sun, people have now seen the light of the truth. This is the century of truth, not of myth. Science will overcome the repressive and prohibitory Darwinist mindset, and the truth will emerge victorious. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan. Say, truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Falsehood is always bound to vanish. <laughs>